A manual should tell everything there is to know about your hardware. Especially when it's been written by a well-established company. Who are renowned for creating the official product. But, hello you. This is Emu Chicken. And today, we're going to show you how to get some games onto your Xbox. And before you ask, the manual for the X is completely monkey balls. Before we start altering the micro SD, we should take it out and make a backup on our PC. Just pop your micro SD into a USB reader, plug it into your computer. If it asks to repair drive, you can go ahead and subscribe. subscribe. We want to copy all of the files of the micro SD over here to our computer. Create a new folder. It can be anywhere on your computer as long as you have space. And then just select and drag them across. This will take a few minutes, but as long as you have a backup, you'll have a safety net in case something messes up. We have a choice to make. We can either use the micro SD as it is. In doing this, we'd only have a few gigabytes free. Or we could use a larger micro SD, replacing our original. So first, we should make sure we have a reliable card. Run it through a fake checker, if you haven't done so. Then format to FAT32 or XFAT. Once done, copy over the original files to the new micro SD. Once we're done here, we can keep the original microSD safe in a drawer. This would be the choice if you're using game controllers, a zero delay encoder, or if you wanted to use four player games, as both of our USB slots are free. Another choice would be to use the original microSD, then use an external USB stick for extra games. Engage the sticks. This can be very convenient, as we don't have to open the case every time we want to change our games list. On the flip side, you'd only have one USB slot free for a game controller. To prepare a USB memory stick for use, you'd need to format to either XFAT or FAT32. I prefer to do this in Rufus. It's a very good tool. And then create a folder called Game. In here, create more folders for each system we want to add games to. ROMs FBA 2012 Use a computer to copy in FBA ROMs from version 0.2.97.30. Leave them as zip files. Do not extract them. Neo Geo BIOS files, for example the Universe BIOS, you can place them in here too. If that is not present, Neo Geo games will not run. ROMs MAME 2003 Place in the MAME ROMs from the 0.78 full non-merged ROM set. Again, do not extract them, leave them as zip files. CFG and NV files need to be in the same folder in order to work. ROMs MD. In here we can put our Mega Drive, Master System and Game Gear games. We can even compress them as zip if we require extra space. ROMs FC. This is for your NES or Famicom games. Simply copy in your .NES files, or you could compress games as a zip.
ROMs SFC. This is where your Super Nintendo or Super Famicom games go. Simply copy in the SFC file. Compress a zip to save some space. ROMs PlayStation. Copy in .bin, Q, IMG, MDF or PBP files. We recommend using PBP files as you save a lot of space in doing so. To convert them, use the tool PSX to PSP. And when it's in the folder, make sure the file name is lowercase. If it's in uppercase, the EX will not see the files. ROMs PSP. Copy in PSP.ISO files. To save some space, you can also use CSOs. You'll be using a PSP ISO compressor, or the one I like to use is the KISO Multi Compressor. When you copy the CSO file into this folder, make sure you rename it to .ISO, otherwise the EX will not see it. ROMs DC. This folder is not present on the stock microSD, so you need to create this yourself. Copy in your Dreamcast CDI files into this folder. The Dreamcast memory card is actually on the internal NAND of your Pandora. To unlock characters from Marvel vs. Capcom 2, you can use Capcom Fighting Collection. When we boot up, we have a memory card icon at the bottom left. You can select this, we can import unlocked saved games of Capcom vs SNK2, Marvel vs Capcom 2, Street Fighter 3 and Dukadux. The emulator is quite compatible, however the Atomus Wave ports and Homebrew have a hard time loading up. ROMs N64. Again, you'd need to create a new folder called ROMs N64. And then throw in any .N64 files here. Compatibility is not that great for the N64. Some games barely load up and the N64 analog stick is not bound. Here are a few games that we tried. Help me! We're entering. God damn it. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. This has been Emu Chicken, and bye!